So we have to be smart about this. We have to learn about this and be smart and we have to stop being so self-critical. You know, I, the, this, is, this is what I say. Don't focus on what is fucked up about you. I know that's going to sound counterproductive, but don't mess with that. Leave it alone. We are digging up things that don't need to be dug up, period. We are going on an excavation quest. Like they did when they robbed ancient Egypt and stole all the artifacts out of Kemet. They're going on a dig. Digging, 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 digging. And you know what? Thousands upon thousands of years later, They're still digging. And every couple of months, they are finding more stuff. They're finding whole worlds that exist. They're finding bones and skeletons of people who existed. Oh, we thought the oldest person in the world was this age, but we're digging and digging and digging and digging and digging and digging and digging. And And guess what I discovered about that digging? It's never ending. You will be wasting your time trying to fix you. One, you're going to get to the very end and discover there was nothing wrong with you. Facts. (laughs) Two, you're going to stay in a cycle of always correcting, correcting, correcting. I say take your top five greatest attributes and focus all your energy and attention on what you do well and become better at it. Big that part of you up and the rest of you will catch up. We spend so much time self-judging. And this is why we're judging everything in our world. We're judging everybody. Every single thing that happens, that they say, that they do, where they was, where they live, who they with, who they friends are, who they not friends are. We are doing all of this judging and then all of a sudden it starts to come on us. Oh, I don't live in the right place. Oh, I'm not driving the right car. Oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, I don't have the right education. Oh, you know, all of these things from a point of judgment. And if we would simply focus on our strengths, What's good for us? And I know I can't be the only one saying this. I've been saying it for years, but I guarantee you, you didn't heard other people say it too. There's nothing wrong with you. Nothing wrong. And the sad part is we hear it, but it don't mean nothing. Two minutes later, We're somewhere trying to figure out someone else's life and not our own. We are experts at what everyone else is saying and doing but ourselves. We're experts at it. We can tell you verbatim, date, time, place, everything. I ask you, well, why did that happen? Oh, I don't know. (laughs) I'm not sure. I'm trying to figure it out. I have no clue. And if we would take a little bit of that focus, just a little bit, just a tiny little bit of that focus and put it in our own lives. Imagine 
Imagine that. Become the expert on you. Before you try to become an expert in someone else's life. We have to do that. That's, that's where the mastermind comes in. That's what this work is supposed to be about. Not so you can recite, quote, follow anyone else. So you can begin to start to uncover your greatness. And bring it to the world in a way that only you can. We don't need another Beyonce. We don't need another P. Diddy. They already exist. We don't need another one of them. Like how sad would that be? That would almost be like Stepford Wise. Y'all ever seen that movie Stepford Wise where the women and the children were like computer programs and they cooked at a certain time. They all did everything at the certain time. They dressed at the same time. They did, you know, the kids all were outside. It was another movie, A Wrinkle in Time. They also sort of did um, a little play off of that when they were walking down the street and all the kids were outside, dun, 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 bouncing the ball at the same time. Yeah. At the same time. These platforms that we have, this, this platform we're on right now in the, in the Blue Room came about because of a mastermind. These were a group of individuals who were working for PayPal. They got together and came up with YouTube. All of these things, all of these things came about because they were focusing on their strengths, learning from their mistakes, focusing on their strengths. In fact, Planet Remix. I was focusing on my strengths. And one of my strengths is I love to ask a lot of questions, a lot of questions to the point where sometimes it drives people insane. But I was asking those questions because I was looking for a way to express myself. And I was looking in in amazement of how many ways people were expressing themselves. And then I thought, wow. Wow. It would be great if I could have my own radio show. I had a virus on my computer. I've told this story a million times. A friend was helping me to get it off and said, don't do anything because it's going to send you to some crazy site until we can find out what's going on with your computer. I did it anywhere. Blog came up. It was still in beta mode. I signed up. Bam. Instantly. instantly and I kept at it but the only thing that can sustain you on the path is if it is something that is really coming from you if it's not coming from you you're not going to have enough energy to finish it but that sort of inner calling that love that love of self-discovery, of self-expression, of what you truly believe you're connected to. But I will tell you, it's a lot, it was a lot of sacrifices. I've been doing this for over 10 years. A lot of sacrifices. I gave up a whole lot of things.